what's going on guys it's your boy andy matrix and hey do you guys remember uh a couple of months ago i think it was uh it was in january uh we found out that disney lost exactly 120 billion dollars during the year of 2022 so that's 120 billion that's a lot of billions man and the funny thing is that if we look at disney how much money they actually make the total assets is 200 202 billion Total liabilities, $93 billion. Net worth is $108 billion. This is our net worth, and this is supposed to be how much they lost last year. So, calculate that net worth through the losses. So, it is easy, we can easily say that Disney is at a negative. They are at a total negative, just going down hills, going down hills. And if you thought that it couldn't get any worse, <laughs> check this out. Disney lost 4 million subscribers in March. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I'm here at the indie, IndieWire.com. says Disney Plus lost another 4 million subscribers in March quarter. So people are literally just going into disney for one or two months they watch whatever they want and then they they unsubscribe and this is exactly what i did when the when the mandalorian came out with the first time the mandalorian came out season one and season two that's exactly what i did and i never paid disney plus ever again <laughs> you know I, because at least at least at least with netflix people tend to stick longer with netflix at least in other subscription services but with Disney, no, bro. Uh-uh. People just go in and get out. Um, so 4 million subscribers, that means a huge loss. It's a huge loss. They currently have about 150. Or they were aiming for like a, over 160 million. But now they have like, I think, 150 million or less subscribers. And if you look at the stock here, man, uh, a year ago in 2022, the stock was at $124 per share. Fast forward till now, it's at, uh, it's at basically a $92 per share. It's a sharp, sharp drop, man. That's a lot. It's a huge loss. It is a huge, huge loss. And honestly, I can't wait till it goes down to like 50 sh <laughs> People have come to hate Disney. And myself included. I grew up with Disney. And modern day Disney just sucks, man. Modern day Disney sucks. It's just sad. But honestly, they, they, they deserve it. They deserve everything, every loss that they have taken. Yeah, and here's the Disney Plus and Disney Plus Hotstar now combined is 157 million subscribers. But they lost, man. On top of that, Disney, one of the reasons why Disney thought that, uh, why Disney wanted to invest into anime, I think it's because they kind of saw this coming. It's because, like, they thought they saw how much money anime was making and honestly disney they're not creating any original crap anymore they're just buying things out like i mean i remember back in the early 2010s P disney just started buying out stuff buying out companies marvel you know pixar whole bunch of other stuff right and they thought all right let's get into the anime game anime is not gonna save you so if you're if you work at disney you're watching this anime is not gonna save you Okay, I, you know, I'm here at the, the popburst.com and Disney bought the second season of Tokyo Revengers, right? Of Tokyo Revengers because, you know, they wanted to make it exclusive to Hulu and Disney Plus so that you couldn't watch it anywhere else except on their platform. And anime fans, that doesn't work with anime fans. We, we have, we know the game, okay? <laughs> we know how to watch something for free. And we've been trained to do that. We've been training to do this for years. Oh my. The only time we pay you, the only time we pay, whether if it's a DVD, a Blu-ray, a, a figurine, the manga, we only pay when we see that you deserve it. So you're not gonna win over anime fans, right? And they did the same thing with Bleach. They 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 bought the new Bleach series at what, a thousand blood war, was it? They bought the new Bleach series, hoping that people we subscribe to Disney Plus or Hulu, and guess what? It didn't happen. People are not going to leave Crunchyroll just to go over, over to Disney. You know? 
and they made a deal with Kodansha. So Disney makes anime deal with Kodansha, calls it a game changer. It is not a game changer. It is not a game changer. People hate you. People hate you, Disney. Many in the millions, I say more than half of, of, of the people that used to, that used to follow you, now they hate you. That's what's happening. That's what you got. That's what you lost billions of dollars, man. You know, and it doesn't matter how many anime you, you, you buy exclusively to your platform. And it doesn't matter how many original anime you make. People don't like you, Disney. And I don't know what else to say about this, but man, 4 million subscribers. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. I mean, they still have a lot of subscribers and mostly on their other platforms, you know, ESPN, Hulu. Yeah, but they, they, they haven't caught up to Netflix. They have not caught up to Netflix. They had to buy other other companies to make themselves, you know, seem as though, you know, they are bigger than they are. So it doesn't matter how many how many deals you make with Japanese companies, you are not going to win over anime fans. We know you. We grew up with you and we're not stupid. I refuse to subscribe to Disney Plus or Hulu. Right? And this is one of the reason, one of the reasons why more and more anime fans are sailing the seven seas with Luffy and the gang. You, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Whatever your thoughts are, comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy Animatrix. Thank you for watching and listening. Godspeed, baby.